<laughs> and are just reflecting on your retirement. It's 11 retirements upon us. Uh, Marquez, Vladimir Klitschko, mm -hmm. Timothy Bradley, Joe Fighter, yeah. Miguel Cotto thinks his last year. What do you make of that? And how hard is it to stay retired? And are you I, done? I don't, I, I, well, yeah, I'm done. But I, I think it's not. I, I think it's the individual. It's a great question, matter of fact, because I think that retirement, and, and I can't speak for everybody, but I think retirement, from my understanding, um, it's based on what you do when you retire for that short period of time. If you retire and plan not coming back, but you spend it like you got 10 more years in front of you, then retirement can be real short. You like that spit? <laughs> so you understand, retirement to me is based and predicated on how your lifestyle, how your lifestyle is. See, if you have a lifestyle that you say you blow through five or $10 million a year, and okay, and if you're sitting on about a hundred after taxes, within a couple of years, buddy, right? You're going to be doing what? You're going to be saying, you know what? I got one more in me. Uh, maybe I'll fight a football player. <laughs> maybe I'll fight a hockey player. Maybe I'll come up with something else. So you got to understand, retirement for some people, and it's just my, my logic, and people that's going to read this or see this, they're going to agree, disagree, but I'm giving them something to think about. That's all I want to do. Retirement is, to me, is based and predicated on when you retire and you overlook everything that you built and you're no longer getting the fighting checks that you was getting before, but you're spending like you got 10 years in front of you. You will, you will get a reality check, and you will either have to change a lot of things in your behavior, or you're going to have to do, unfortunately, the norm. Come back for the wrong reasons. Come back for the wrong reason. I am done. I am living off the interest and standing on my principle. <laughs> Hold up, there. I, who said? <laughs> Uh, yeah, but but yeah, that, that that's that's how I'm feeling right now. That's where I'm at now, and and that that philosophy then I established that in 1988 when I was released back to society. Don't judge me if my math is off for year two, about 28, 29 years ago. My interest is what I invest in. Whatever that is, and my principle, which I won't waver from, that I stand on, that covers from A to Z, from Z to A. It's not just business, relationship, friendship, loyalty. It's not to brag, because I think that those who say they are who they are don't have to say it, just do it. Because even though those who say they're not looking, they're watching every time. You know why they're watching? They can't, most of them, they can't, they can't help but watch because when you're in the dark, in that mindset, they will always see that light that's on you. It's called success. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, Bernard. Thank you, Bernard. Thank you, Bernard.